next in css we are going to create this form so this is our basic html code and within body section first we are giving div class equals to container one we will be creating this class later on and within this div we are creating one more div and this div will be holding image so img src equals to we are selecting image from our folder only fpme.png style equals to within double quotes we are given width to 300 pixel and uh, here we are giving margin top to 20 pixel and we can see that here we have some text so we have to give this also connect with friends and word around you on so we will be giving it in paragraph text so here we have written our text within our paragraph tag save it and click on go live so this is how it is looking right now uh, we haven't changed the background color that's why there's a difference in background color which we'll be giving later so so after this div uh, we'll be creating one more div class i'm assigning is form class Or we can say form container and within this div we will be creating our form so here form action as of now we are giving here hash method to post now here first of all we have to create text box so input type equals to text then placeholder we want to give us email or phone and we are writing required as we cannot now we cannot leave this field empty now second is password box we have to create so input type equals to password placeholder we are giving password and here we are giving required after that we have to create button <coughs> sorry button type equals to button button type equals to we have to write submit that is submit button and uh, what we have to write on that button login
after that we have to create this uh, hyperlink so for that a h r e f equals to within double quotes we are giving hash here because right now we are not linking it with any other page and uh, what text we have to give is forgot password So this is our anchor tag. What next we have to make? We have to give horizontal rule. So here we are giving HR tag. And after this tag, we have to create one more button. So for that, button type equals to, we are giving here button only. And uh, here later on we'll be making a class and name of the class we are will be giving will be new account, new ACC. And uh, what we have to write on this button, create new account. Save it and uh, click on go live. So this is how our form is looking right now. So what we have to do here is, here in hat section we have to give style tag. And within style tag, first of all I am giving body. And within curly bracket, background color I am giving here is hash f0 f2 f5 and uh, font family we are also selecting here to be Arial. save it and uh, let's see how it is looking in our browser so Facebook has changed. Now next what we have to give is we have to create a container. We have made a class container1. So here we are doing it for container1. In this container1 we have to put all this tags in the center. So for that we will be using display Let's justify con content to center, then align items to again center. Height we are giving is. 100 vh and uh, width we are giving is 100 percent save it and uh, go live so we can see that everything <coughs> has come in the center next class we have made here is form container so now we'll be doing for form container this is our form container class and in this class we want that form container should be this much of wide so here i'm giving width to uh 400 pixel then we have to give padding so here padding I'm selecting is 16 pixel 
background color to be hash then margin left We are giving it 150 pixel and uh, text align to center. Save it and go live. So we can see that this form box has shifted to this side. Now, what we have to do here is now, first, we'll be doing it for uh, text box, password box and all. So here I am taking input type equals to text comma input type equals to password And for that, what we have to do, <coughs> we can see here that uh, our text box and password box both are of size of form. This is padding here. So, uh, we have to take width of 100%. Width to 100% of form box. Then padding. It should be same, otherwise it will be, uh, here we have taken padding to be uh, 16 pixels, so here it should be 16 pixels, otherwise it will look, look zigzag. 16 pixel margin, I'm taking is 12 pixel and uh, 0, then display to inline block. then box size to border box here we can see that uh, uh, corners are little curvy so here we have to give border radius to 5 pixel and uh, here we are giving border one pixel solid save it and uh, go live so we can see that uh, text box and password box both are of the size of form box now we have to do it for login box and uh, create new account uh, sorry login button and create new account button here we can see that the uh, login button is also of 100% we have to give 100% width so here we have to do it for button also here we are giving width to 100% then background color here we are selecting hash 08 color of text on the button is white so here we are giving the white then padding should be same as we have given previously it was 12 pixel and 0 then font size we are selecting 20 pixel cursor should be pointer border we are giving is 
none and border radius to be 5 pixel. Save it and uh, this is how it is looking in our browser. Route, right now both the buttons are looking same because we have taken common name right now. Later on we will be changing its color and all. So here we have done it for button. Next, here we have created one class that is new account. For this create new account button. So here we will be creating this class. So it will be new. And for this, this is a button. For this we have to give its background color. And here we are writing color. Push zero eight six six access. No, here it should be green. This green in color. So it should be zero zero a four zero zero hash. And uh, next we want that here we can see that the width of this create account button is smaller than login button. So here we are giving width to 60%. Save it and uh, go live. So this is how our button is looking here. Next, we can see here that uh, our horizontal ruler, that is this line, horizontal line is small. It is not covering 100% of form box. And it is little dim. That means we have to give opacity. So here, we have taken HR tag here. For this HR tag, we are giving here HR. Here we have to give width to 80% I am giving text align we are giving to center and opacity to 0.4. Save it and uh, this is how it is looking in our browser. Now we want that whenever we click in this text box and its password box, it should change its color. So for that, here we'll be creating one more. We have to give, we'll give it here. We want that whenever we click on this uh, text box and password box, its border should change its color. That means that is a highlight effect. So we have to write here focus. And here also we have to write focus. And here what we want, its outline color should change. Outline to be, I'm giving one pixel solid save it and uh, click on go live so we can see that it is highlighting but still there is back, uh, it's, there is some blackish uh, outline there. So what we have to do here is here we have okay we have put space in between that's why that border was showing black. 
goal i so now we can see that uh, when we click on our email or phone text box then it is highlighting to its border is uh, outside border is highlighting to uh, blue color and same with password now next what we have to do we have to do it with this thing we have to increase its font size first so here we can see that this is our paragraph we have written it in paragraph tag so here we'll be doing it for paragraph what we want that font size to be I'm giving 25 pixel save it go live so here we can see that its font size has been increased to 25 pixel so right now our form is looking as we were thinking of designing so this is a form 